Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. I'm Dr. Steven Ramos, Associate Medical Director with Health Texas Primary Care Doctors. And every week we're going to bring you a video with special guests discussing important health topics. Today I have a, a special guest, Henry Nanajo, uh, here today who is our Director of Managed Care Marketing. Henry, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramos. Appreciate and it. Today we're going to talk about an important time, uh, getting close to that time of the year where a lot of our Medicare beneficiaries are going to be able to perhaps choose a new plan or maybe getting into Medicare. Can you tell me a little bit about this date and how important it is? That is correct, Dr. Ramos. So it's the annual open enrollment period, which starts October uh, the 15th and ends December the 7th. So uh, this is a time where our Medicare recipients are probably receiving a lot of mail, uh, perhaps some phone calls, uh, just trying to reach out to them to see what they're going to do this year for their benefits. So uh, it's just a time where someone, a Medicare recipient, uh, can change their plans uh, if they're not happy with the plan they had for, for this current year. Uh, perhaps they want to go to another insurance carrier, pick another doctor. This is the time to do it. Uh, so uh, when they do a change uh, during the open enrollment period, it is not effective until the first of the year. Uh, so one nice thing about open enrollment is that say you choose a plan uh, right October the, the 15th and uh, two weeks later you decide that that plan is not the right for you. Uh, once you look at the benefits and everything they have to offer you, uh, you can definitely sign up and enroll in the plan that looks better to you. Uh, so basically the last plan that goes into Medicare is the one that's going to stick to start January 1st with Great. the new benefits. So it's an important time of the year. It is, you know, selecting your primary care doctor, getting to be able to determine, you know, how you're going to manage and, and who is going to manage your health Correct. going forward, uh, something that's really important for a lot of our patients to really understand. And so if we have patients that are maybe new to Medicare or maybe they already have Medicare but just don't know enough about what benefits they're getting or really what their plan is, who can they get into contact with and who can they reach out to to get more information? That's a great question, Dr. Ramos. And as you know, a Medicare recipient can come in different ways. So uh, typically it's when you turn 65. When you turn 65, you, you're gonna get your, your Medicare Parts A and B, or if you're disabled for 24 consecutive months, then you qualify for your Medicare. Uh, so that can be confusing to decide what you're gonna do. Uh, so at Health Texas, at all of our 17 clinics, we have loyal and trusted agents that work with our patients every day. Uh, if, if, you know, they, they camp out at our clinics, they're there for you. Uh, so you can visit any of our clinics and, and talk to an agent. They're licensed agents that they know the plan backwards and forwards. Uh, and they can meet with you and figure out what's best for you. What's, what's the best uh, you know, situation, you know, in your, your particular case. Uh, and they'll visit with you, give you the details. And if you want, they even have the enrollment forms. So it's very simple. You know, so take all the confusion of what Medicare is. Uh, if you need help just signing up on Medicare, we can help you with that as well. So we're there to help you at all our clinics. Yeah, we have a lot of great resources. Talking to your primary care doctor if you have one or, you know, talking with somebody to, to find a new primary care doctor or somebody that you can trust with your health care is just sure. really important. Um, so Health Texas, you know, from what we specialize in, really we take care of the greater San Antonio community, but a large portion of who we really try to help out with is our, our senior citizens, a lot of our Medicare beneficiaries. Um, you know, part of Health Texas for a long time now, can you help us uh, explain a little bit about why Health Texas is so good at specializing with this group of patients and what we do best? Sure, you know, right now currently at Health Texas, we have over 60 providers over our 17 clinics. All of our providers are board certified. A lot of them are specialized in geriatric. Uh, so senior healthcare is, is huge for Health Texas. Uh, so we, we've been doing this a long time, like Dr. Ramos said, since 1994. So uh, we are here for you. Uh, we, we know the format of what our patients need. Uh, once you have your Medicare, uh, you know, joining, there's so many different plans out there. Uh, and the one that comes to mind is the Medicare Advantage plan that we take at Health Texas. Uh, so, you know, the coordination of care is so important. Uh, picking a primary care doctor that will kind of follow you and, and take care of your treatment and refer you to the ref to specialists that you need. Uh, the communication between our doctors and the specialists is so important. Uh, when you don't have the coordination of care, as you know, Dr. Ramos, it, it sometimes can, can, can be, can, cannot turn out good. The outcomes are just not there. Uh, 
so a primary care doctor is super important. Um, these Medicare Advantage programs uh, also are, you know, for a Medicare recipient, it's less out-of-pocket expenses. You know, so that's something to consider. And while you're searching for your right plan, look at that. And, and look at what it is, the co-payments, your, 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 your deductibles is important because they're all different. Uh, and once you choose a plan as well, you have additional benefits that Medicare doesn't cover, you know, such as transportation, your dental. Uh, there's any, the list goes on and on. Every year, Medicare, you know, looks at the plan and enriches the benefits, which is a good thing. Uh, so that's important to see which plan is, is best for you and, and look at it and make the right choice. You know, so that's why the open enrollment period is, uh, the annual open enrollment period is just a, a tremendous uh, time to, to, to do that and look at what you what you can get. Yeah, and, and Henry, you hit on a lot of really good points that, you know, things that practicing medicine has evolved into so, so much more than just, you know, seeing a problem, fixing it, you know, getting someone to feel better. It really does, you know, involve a lot of trust, and I have to sure. have my patients really trust me. So when I say, you know, we need to see a specialist or we need to start this certain medication, you know, they trust that I'm making the right decision for their health. But not only that, we have to think about, you know, can they afford these medications? Correct. And if I have to send a patient for an x-ray or see a specialist, can they get there? Do they have transportation? And, and thankfully, when we work closely with certain insurance um, you know, groups and, and benefits, we, we know how to navigate that. So if I know somebody needs a little help with either medication costs or transportation, whatever have you, we know that process, we know what benefits they do have, and we can really help them navigate that so they can get the care they need. And uh, you know, when we talk about some other groups and doctors where maybe they don't work so closely with their insurance plan or they don't really pay as much attention, you know, they can just say, well, call your insurance and figure it out, you're on your own. For us, it's a matter of really taking care of the whole patient. That's where I think that Health Texas really strives and, and does a great job of being able to, to really care for the city um, and, you know, the, the large population that we have. So picking a primary care doctor is, is crucial, and uh, picking your right insurance plan is also just as important. And making sure that your new primary care doctor, if you choose one, is accepts your new insurance, and, and that's a, a big thing that you can ask the agents as well. Um, so tell me a little bit about Medicare and Medicaid, the, the differences there. Correct. Well, so Medicare is, you know, obviously once you turn 65, you're going to get your Medicare, and it's in two parts, your Part A and your Part B. Uh, your Part A is going to be your hospitalization, your hospital, and your Part B is going to be your medical. Uh, so... Basically, everybody will get your Part A, and you get your Part B at a premium. So you're going to have a premium. Uh, uh, nowadays, it's about $150 for your Part B premium. Um, so that's the way that works. Now, one thing I do want to bring up, Dr. Ramos, is uh, if I am a Medicare recipient and I'm still working, and I'm still working for my employer, and my employer is actually I'm being covered under their benefits, um, you might want to just opt out of your Part B because you don't need it. So you can save yourself the $150 a month. Uh, you don't want to join a Medicare Advantage plan. Uh, and the reason why, or is if you have a spouse that is not, is, is, is not 65. Uh, because if you uh, cancel your employer benefits and you take a Medicare Advantage plan, then that's going to leave your spouse with no coverage. So you got to be very careful on, on how you... Do it. So that's why our agents that we have at our clinic, our trusted agents, can go through all that because it, it could be complicated. Uh, you might miss something. Uh, so Medicare Part A and B, that's what you need to get. Uh, whether you're on Medicare, you turn 65 or dis disabled for uh, 24 consecutive months. Uh, now Medicaid is totally different. Medicaid is a state funded, and that's on based on uh, financial uh, income. So we can assist you with that too. If you have Medicare and perhaps you're struggling with, like you said, your prescriptions or what you need, uh, you know, come talk to us. You know, we've got agents that will help you maybe apply for your Medicaid. And we even have employees that will kind of help you with that as well, uh, our patient navigators at, at uh, Health Texas. So there's an abundance of resources at Health Texas uh, that you can come and speak to us and, and get you the right plan and the right help that, that, that you will need. That's definitely important. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you mentioned it very well that it, it's kind of a complex thing. It's not really straightforward. There's it a is. lot of moving parts. There's a lot of, you know, this benefit, that benefit. Is, is this the right move for me? 
And I think just asking those questions and going somewhere right. where you can get that information is, is so important. And again, another thing that you know I think our group and Health Texas does ex- extremely well is being able to help manage all those questions. You know, I'm not here just for talking about blood pressure and, and your health problems, but if you're having problems, you know, getting to an appointment or uh, you know, there's nothing more frustrating than talking with somebody and sending them out and getting some things done and only to come find out later, well, I couldn't do it because it was too expensive or mm-hmm. I couldn't find the place or I didn't have transportation, you know, family couldn't take me, couldn't afford to get that supply, what have you. I always tell them if you ever have any questions with anything related to your health care, whether it's medications or management or just trying to find the right office, give us a call. We're, right. we're there to help. We have so many people on staff and, and working with us that can give you those answers and make things a lot easier a lot of times for us too. So, sure. you know, really crucial to, to find that group and, and an organization that can really help you on the whole scale, better manage your health is just so important. Uh, again, remind us of the dates for the annual enrollment period. Yeah, so it's coming up a couple of more days. So it, it does start on uh, October the 15th through December the 7th. So you roughly have about 52 days. Uh, and, you know, Health Texas has been doing this a long time. So we, we know uh, the the complications, like Dr. Ramos said, I mean, it could get really crazy. Uh, you know, take your time and look at the plan. If you if, if you have a plan today that you're very happy with and you're happy with your doctor uh, and the medical group, you know, you don't have to do anything. The plan will automatically renew itself. And that's very important. And you have to be careful if, if you're talking to an agent, perhaps, during this time, uh, and they will tell you. You know, they want to make a sale, and they will tell you, yes, that doctor's on the plan. You just have to sign here. I see it every first of the mm-hmm. year where the patients will call me, and they're like, Henry, the agent said this doctor, Dr. Ramos, is on the plan, and, and lo and behold, no, they're not. Uh, so be very careful and do your homework. And, uh, you know, star ratings is very important as well when you're picking a plan. Uh, Medicare.gov, you can go on, on that. Look at the star ratings of the plans that you're going to choose or you're looking at because uh, that's important. You don't want a, a plan with a one star. And we try to shoot for the, the higher star, uh, you know, so that's important. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, Health Texas, we've been doing this for a long time, so we're here to help you. I mean, if you have any questions, you know, give us a call. Stop by any of our clinics, uh, www.healthtexas.org has a lot of information as to our locations, our doctors, whether they speak Spanish, they don't, I mean, where where they're at, Um, you know, but this time we want to make it easy for you and we want you to make the right choice. Uh, So don't hesitate to even call us or or, or stop by. Uh, You know, we've been very fortunate to work with a lot of great agents uh, that are trusted. They know Health Texas, uh, they know our doctors, and so, they would be more than happy to give you the information you want. So that's just a, a yeah. time to do your homework. A lot of resources available, uh, calling in, getting online, visiting our website, mm-hmm. or just walking into our clinics. That is you true. Have questions, even if you're not a Health Texas patient, it's still a very good um, one-stop shop for all the information and education you could possibly need if you're moving into that you know, Medicare uh, age or Maybe you're just really not satisfied with the, the plan or, or the group that you're with and, and looking to make a change. Now is the time or soon the time to do it. Uh, come visit us. Come reach out to us. We have all the information you can possibly need. Thank you for joining us for Wellness Wednesday. Again, I'm Dr. Stephen Ramos with Health Texas Primary Care Doctors. If you have any questions or want to reach out to us, our phone number is 210-731-4800. Or you can visit us on our website at healthtexastexas.org.